Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the random review series. DeBougie 86 here again. Now, the film I got for you guys today is a new release from Sub Rosa Studios Cinema. Of course, if you don't know them, they release a lot of like obscure films on different variations of media. Uh, DVD, limited Blu-rays, and uh, uh, VHS even. And this one is one of their uh, limited Blu-ray releases. And that is of the 16mm uh, 1990 cult classic Vampire Cop. Yes. Now, if you don't know this film, this film is directed by Donald Farmer. Of course, uh, uh, films that I know that he directed, of course, are like Demon Queen, uh, Savage Vengeance, Invasion of the Screen Queens, which is a documentary that he uh, directed. He also directed a, a segment of High 8, uh, the shot on video anthology from a few years ago. And one film that I've seen recently of his is Shark Exorcist. Now, the main plot of Vampire Cop is very uh, basic for what it is. It's not like a high, over-the-top film. It pretty much details uh, our main cop, Detective Lucas, who's uh, patrolling the night, and he ends up teaming up with this reporter lady to try to stop this mob boss. But the twist of Detective Lucas is he's actually a vampire, and he uses his vampire abilities to fight crime. That is uh, pretty much the basic plot of this film. It's nothing to take too seriously and too mind-blown into it. Uh, but uh, yeah, pretty much that's all that happens in it. it uh, it's pretty much Lucas trying to investigate and trying to find out where this crime boss lives and fighting some of his goons here and there and getting entangled. And he also gets into like this like love relationship with uh, our main reporter uh, of the film. Uh, I can't think of the... Melanie, that's the name of the reporter. I was thinking of off the top of my head. But yeah, that's pretty much the main plot without going to it. It's nothing too seriously or too over the top for this type of film. Uh, now, my thoughts on this. Uh, this is a very low-budget film, of course, if you don't know Donald Farmer's films. Uh, most of them are low-budget. They uh, have like that obscure level of like uh, pretty much the heart of the film. And this one is one of them. It's a very fun film, I have to say. Uh, had some laughed out moments because you know you're not going to get like terrific actors in this film because it's the way the but the, I did like the acting in this film there's actually a few recognizable actors from growing up that are in this film like uh, one person in particular is Lieutenant Ryan who's played by Mal Arnold of course uh, if you don't know who he is he's most famously known for his role in Herschel Gordon Lewis's Blood Feast he plays like uh, uh, Detective Lucas's boss which was really cool to see, like, Mel Arnold in another film, because I didn't even see him. I know he's in, like, Scum of the Earth, also by Herschel Gordon-Lewis, and uh, it's cool to see him in, like, another film from, like, a different time period, because it's, like, that last arc of, like, that old, like, obscure, like, films that we all loved and grown up with, and seeing, like, a familiar actor from one of those films is really enjoyable. And we also get, like, uh, Ray McKinnon, who... Most famously known, he's a, actually a Academy Award winning producer and worked on like films with like George Clooney, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, and actually uh, was is a big time producer now and produces tons of films and uh, is a director in his own right. I was looking a little bit about him while I was watching this and it was cool like uh, learning all about this stuff because they actually used like different names. Uh, most of the actors did, uh, there was a few exceptions. Uh, from their uh, Screen Actor Guild names, uh, as I learned in the commentary with Donald Farmer on this film, which I found really interesting. Now, the film only runs 160 minutes. I did watch the director's cut of this, and it's a very interesting story. It has, like, a different aspect, like Donald Farmer was saying in the commentary, uh, what the studio wanted with his other, with the theatrical version, which is also... On this release, it's a very different type of beginning and different type of film. And it's, I actually do prefer the director's cut of this film from the theatrical, which I did like that they put actually on this release both versions. So you can compare the two, what the differences were, as uh, the director was uh, telling you in the, his audio commentary. But yeah, it was really cool. It had some like cool like blood effects and some laugh out moments. There was like, uh, 
if you haven't seen a Donald Palmer film, he's known for this in certain films. It's in a lot of like these like shot in video 16 millimeter type films, uh, the slow mo like uh, shots where it's like uh, with the vampire uh, Lucas and his teeth that's going in slow motion. And you hear like this weird like groaning sound. It's just you can't help it, but it's fucking funny as shit. It's awesome. <laughs> I had a blast watching this. It's Nothing going to be for everyone, especially if you're not into like this lowball uh, shot and video 16 millimeter type of cinema. But if you are and you like you're like these type of films, you're really going to enjoy this one for what it is. Really fun setting. And I did like the characters, like I said, it's really fun stuff. Uh, now, if I hit the Raid Vampire Cop, because uh, it is a low budget film and the time it came out with and, and the length of it. It runs like the perfect length for the director's cut either the way it is. If this film went on longer than it did, it might be like kind of dragging in some aspects with like the way the story goes. So I'm going to give it like a solid 6 out of 10. It's nothing too mind blown, but if you're into like this obscure like uh, cinema stuff, you're going to really enjoy this film for what it is. Now, this uh, version of the, the release is limited. Uh... There might be like a DVD version that comes out later on. Like uh, I noticed with like a lot of like sub roast and stuff, uh, they do have like uh, st like wider releases of their limited Blu-rays and VHSs uh, beforehand. But uh, it'd be cool if this got like a wider release because it is a film that I think people would dig to see. But uh, for special features, of course, we have like the director's cut, which is I talked about, and we also have the original theatrical version. And the feature length commentary track with Donald Farmer and Sub Rosa trailers, which uh really cool stuff. They show like uh uh She Kills and like uh the night uh, something weird. The film I just actually reviewed last week. It was kinda cool to see it, the trailer for it because I actually didn't see the trailer for it beforehand, so it was really cool stuff. So yeah, check out uh Vampire Cop from Sub Rosa, really cool release, awesomeness. Alright guys, that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it and as always, I'll be back soon with another random review. And as always, I'll see you then. Peace out.